What's up everybody? It's Tuesday. It's time for another Torture of Tuesday here on the channel. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are in the description box below. Let's get to it. So if you guys have not been following Torque Drift on their Instagram, you're missing out. The anticipation of the 15th update, the August 15th update, which is this weekend, is insane. Open lobbies are going to become a thing with cross-platform on the mobile device and the PC. So with that being said, you know, we're going to be doing some drift trains and we're going to be doing some open lobbies, you know, the one friend that can't park, some car meets and stuff like that. But with that brings the ability for people who don't have like Xbox One or PC and can't play like Forza or a set of course and can't get into these massive lobbies and drift trains and the joy of you know being door to door with people behind you and in front of you. They're gonna get the ability to do that now with open lobbies here on Torque Drift. So you know for sure I'm gonna be running some open lobbies. I'm gonna be going live on the channel, inviting you guys into the lobby, chilling, showing off your cars, doing some drift trains, maybe some Ebazoo drift jumps in some of these tracks and you know drift jump style and just have a lot of fun with it because it it opens up a whole new chapter of the game super excited the game devs you know been keeping me up to date with it you know and i'm super excited to bring you guys you know the content with it because it's going to be big we're going to be able to do drift chains we're going to be able to do drift lobbies we can do tandem competitions if we really want to the options are endless now with an open lobby so let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see me do with open lobbies. Do you guys want to see me do some competition stuff, car meets, drift trains, you know, just full on fun lobbies, just door to door with people everywhere, just drifting on certain tracks, stuff like that. Let me know down in the comment section down below. So with that being said, let's get sideways and have some fun. All right. So we got Long Beach. We got the yard. We got slab, tunnel edge and tunnel edge. So. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit of slab, so we're gonna run the slab, and we're gonna see what we can do on the slab. I'm debating what car I want to run. We haven't brought the 180 out much, so let's bring the 180 out again. See, maybe if we can uh, pull some wins with this 180. Looks like we're going up against a 954 horsepower car, a little bit underpowered. Uh, I'm confused. Why am I? Okay. Oh. I forgot they changed how all of this was a little bit. So this is actually a new course that I haven't driven yet. Getting a bit thrown off by this. A little bit thrown off by the course. So. And I need to be in fourth gear. Got a little bit thrown off because I was a little bit confused on where I was at the moment. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, hold up. It looked a little different to me. So unfortunately, we did not get a great, a great lead run. So we can try and get better chase. And I think the cool thing that's going to be coming with the open lobby is going to be live drifting. So instead of running tandems like this, where you know you run your you run your run and then you chase down their run. It's going to be like live drifting like Forza Motorsport 7, a set of Corsa. So it's going to be a lot different and a lot more intense to be able to drift with your friends. Oh, see ya sail stage right. We're going to try and get a rerun with him because I kind of was in the wrong gear and did not know where I was. So hopefully we can try and get a rerun. Great initiation by uh, by that that car right there. Let's get a rerun. Come on, let me get a rematch. We both did terrible. All right, we can get a rematch. So hopefully we can get a better initiation here. I think we need to throw some more power in this car though. Kind of initiation I was looking for. Kind of missed that clip. And those. And we kind of fell out of drift there. 
Ah, oh, too much angle. So this was not a better lead run than the la I mean, it was a better lead run than the last one. Because we did get a clean lead, so it was a little bit better. But I feel like he's going to get a much better run. Oh, no, he said disqualified. Must have hit the wall. Or he left. He left. So unfortunately, we're not going to get to rerun that. So let's switch cars up. I know I gotta, I gotta go back to building these cars. So with the open lobbies and everything coming back, we're gonna start doing more builds on these cars because we're gonna be bringing them out to these lobbies. So, ooh, I like the E30. Bumperless E30, let's see what the uh, little FC can do. Oh, I didn't clutch kick enough. I keep hanging that turn out way too much angle. And didn't get enough angle at all on that turn. It's a little bit better of a run though. So, to get a little bit better of a run than we did in the other car. And we do have an advantage going into there. I should have clutch kicked a little more, or maybe stayed in third through that section, and then switched into fourth. Things I'm learning. Got to get these cars dialed in. You know, with open lobbies coming this weekend, there's going to be a lot of torture if lobbies happening from my side. So look forward to that happening here on the channel. Ooh! I mean, we can throw it hard into the door. These two cars looking like missile cars right now. Oh, nope. Exit stage right on my part. Oh, rip. We were on a good chase. And I kind of uh, overthrew that a little bit too much. Got a little bit too aggressive in the sauce. But we still managed to take the win. We're going to try and get a rematch and see if we can't do a better chase. Going to get that rematch going. Get my cursor out of place. Third gear was definitely the kicker through this part. Let's shade in. A little bit of handbrake. A little bit of handbrake there. Stay in third. Oh, that's much better. Shifts up to fourth. Oh, that was just a little baby wall tab. I call a, a little bit of BS on that, hanging that a little bit wide. So this was not as a good lead run at all. A little bit too much of a wall tap, I think. Taking my points away. 27 to, four, oof, to 50. Yeah, we'd have to do a baller chase run in order to possibly take a W. But maybe we can go again and do best two out of three. Little late faint initiation style. Banging doors. Kind of staying right there. Looking like I used to when uh, I played all day, every day on the mobile. So maybe third gear is the gear to stay in. We may just have to rev bang in third and be very loud to you headphone users. I do apologize. And the tail of the tape says, in the second run between him and I, who's going to take it? Who's going to win? It's going to be a 2-2? Two -two, or 2-for-2? Two two, or are we going to go 1-1? One one? We're going to go 1-1. One one. So, rematch him. Go best 2 out of 3. No, maybe? I don't think... Oh, we are going to go best 2 out of 3. Alright, so third gear is the gear to go. So let's try and get a good clean lead. Oh, just running bumper on that wall. Kind of lost it through there. It did not transition fast enough. Took that harder. Oh, no. We were on a great lead run, but unfortunately, I was not able to keep it. So, we're going to be at a disadvantage again. 
but that wall ride though in the beginning. Oh, pretty close battle. Let's check this out again because this was this was almost perfect. Right up on there, little wall tap. Ooh, feathered off and stayed just off the wall. Ever so gently, a little wall tap. So this is for all the marbles. Best two out of three against this man E E30. Ooh, kind of threw me off, off sorts there, but we're still here. Oh, can't get that transition down. So that hard there, getting the, oh, a little flick back. I wonder, this, this is going to be close. It's going to be the battle of the chases because we were so close on leads. And we did take that chase win. Or he just didn't even chase us. He said bye. So I think we're going to try and find one more battle here. But I think we're going to go back to Tunnel's Edge. Because I do love myself some Tunnel's Edge. We're going to go to Tunnel Edge. And we're going to run Tunnel's Edge with this FC because... Eh, no, you know what? We're going to bring out the, the M4 again. Bring out the M4 here on Tunnel's Edge. What am I doing? I'm trying to click on all these random cars. And we are going against a very powerful 180. Rad Dan Industries on the side on the Apple device. Let's do it. Those Falcon tires go roundy rounds. Throw it in hard, flick it back, kind of feather, a little bit of brakes there. Oh, oh, we did not lose our clean lead on that though. That was very scary. I thought we were gonna lose all of that. Trying to get a little bit too saucy on the walls with the M4. Drag it out back. Oh, another wall tap. So an over 1,000 point run, 100,000 point run. So, definitely an over 1,000 point. 121 to 170. If we wouldn't have biffed it, we probably would have been right up there. So let's try and get a solid chase. Man's car is shaking all over the place. Initiating in. Oh, I got lost in the smoke. Oh, lost in the smoke. Losing my focus is not what I want to do. That dude is just dragging bumper. No wonder he was up there in that 170,000 point lead. He is dragging bumpers, and that's all he's doing. No wonder he doesn't have a back bumper on that car. Very solid run by that man in that 180. So GG to you, sir. I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift. The hype is real with the update coming up. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.